winds in the east, mist coming in, like something is brewing, about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, we are beginning our descent into Los Angeles. Welcome, Mrs. P.L. Travers, to the City of Angels. It smells like... Jasmine. Chlorine and sweat. <laughs> Introducing the creator of our beloved Mary. Poppins. Never ever just Mary. Now, where is Mr. Disney? She's here. Well, Pamela Travers. You can't imagine how excited I am to finally meet you. Would you mind? My name is Mrs. Travis, Mr. Disney. Oh, Walt, now you gotta call me Walt. 20 years ago, I made a promise to my daughters that I would make your Mary Poppins fly off the pages of your books. I promised them, Pam. I know what he's going to do to her. She'll be cavorting and twinkling. You can't make the film unless you grant the rights. Pam. What kind of ideas? Constables responsible. Now, how no, 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 does that no. sound? No, 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 no. Responsible is not a word. We made it up. Well, unmake it up. She won't approve Dick Van Dyke. No. No. The Ventus house doesn't look like that. No, no, it's all wrong. It's all wrong. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Super Stop. Mary Poppins is not for sale. I won't have her turned into one of your silly cartoons. Says the woman who sent a flying nanny with a talking umbrella to save the children. You think Mary Poppins has come to save the children? Oh, dear. Mr. Travers, what am I missing here? I'm wondering what I have to do to make you happy. You know, you've never been to Disneyland, and that's the happiest place on Earth. No, 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 please. Well, when does anybody get to go to Disneyland with Walt Disney himself? There he is. Where did she come from? Mary Poppins and the Banksies. Their family to me. Mary Poppins was a real person? So it's not the children she comes to save. It's their father. It's your father. You don't know what she means to me. I won't disappoint you. I swear every time a person walks into a movie house, they will rejoice. Don't you want to finish the story? The boys have come up with an idea. I think it's gonna make you happy. You didn't bring me all the way here to tell me that. Oh no, I had a wager. I couldn't get you on a ride. I just won 20 bucks. Yeah! shall bestow a gift on the child. Before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she will fall into a sleep like death! <gasps> Curious little beastie. Bring her to me. I know you're there. Don't be afraid. I am not afraid. Then come out. Then you'll be afraid. All the other fairies fly. And why don't you? I had wings once. They were strong. But they were stolen from me. There is evil in this world. Hatred. And revenge. who live in the shadows. Fight with me now! Is it true? Are you Maleficent?
This is Martin Sixsmith, used to be the BBC's man in Moscow. And Washington. You're depressed. Well, I got the sack. I'm unemployed. Yes, but it wasn't your fault, was it? That's why I'm depressed. What are you working on at the moment? I know this woman. She had a baby when she was a teenager. She's kept it secret for 50 years. You're talking about the human interest story, and that's... I don't do those. Why not? You think I should do a human interest story? Philomena, how are you? I had a hip replacement last year, Martin. Titanium, so it won't rust. Otherwise, I'd have to oil you like the Tin Man. Is that right? Oh, no. He's just joking, Mum. Oh. <laughs> I was going to ask if it would be possible not to use my real name when you write the story. What about Anne Boleyn? That's a lovely name. Oh, well, somebody had that. The, we're going to have to use your real name, Philomena. I only want to know if he's all right. Perhaps these older nuns would help us with some of the details. I don't think that's going to be possible. Why not? You're a journalist. I used to be. Martin's a Roman Catholic. Yes. Well, no, I used to be. My guess is that Anthony was adopted and sent to America. I think I would like to go. I'd like to know if Anthony ever thought of me. I've thought of him every day. Should we go for a walk? Or we could watch Big Mama's house. It's about a little black man pretending to be a fat black lady. It looked hilarious, Martin. She told four people today that they were one in a million. What are the chances of that? Oh. What if he died in Vietnam or lived on the street? Or what if he was obese? What math makes you think he'd be obese? Because of the size of the portions. That's my Anthony. I met him. Where? At the White House. Oh, God. What was he like? And did you remember anything he said? Hello. 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 He might have been hi. Oh, Martin. I did not abandon my child. He was taken from me. She's been looking for him. She spent her whole life trying to find him. I've never been to Mexico, but I believe it's lovely. Apart from the kidnappings. 